Hello and welcome and today the topic of discussion is in C programming we will discuss accessing element of structures in C. Prior to this we have discussed what structure is all about and how to initialize member of a structure. In this video we will discuss how to access element or member of structures in C language. So let's see the program. The program is in front of you. We have created a structure by name of coordinate having two member x and y now in main we have created a variable p1 we have created a variable p1 of what structure having name coordinate i told you and again i am telling you the moment you create this variable a memory will get created by the name of a variable that is by p1 now this variable will have two boxes why two boxes because there are two members x and y if there were three members, there will be three boxes. If there were only one member, there will be only one box. Fine. Now, what we have initialized P1 with 0 and 1. So, X will get value 0 and 1, Y will get value 1. Now, how will I access this value of X and Y? By using dot operator. So, structure member are accessed using dot operator. Using dot operator. So, let's see how we can access. If what am I doing is that P1, I'm assigning value of x p1 dot x is equal to 20 what am i doing is that i am assigning new value of x that is p1 dot x p1 dot x to what 20 so this value will become 20 fine so from 0 it will become 20 now what am i doing i am printing value of x i am printing value of y through method of p1 dot x so what is p1 x 20 so what you will get answer 20 not 0 now because we have changed the value from 0 to 20 and p1 dot y y became unchanged so you will get value 1 it's fine so what is the method of you know what is the method of accessing uh, structure member is through dot operator now we have designated initialization method what is that designated initialization method now let me tell you fine so this is the method where we have created a structure coordinate having three member x y and z in main we have created a variable p1 so we have the moment i write this i'll have a memory block by the name of p1 now it we have three boxes why three boxes because there are three members x y and z now what am i doing see it very clearly p1 this means p1 dot y if you have simply written p1 is equal to 0 1 2 then x would have get got value 0 y 1 and z2 now we are not doing this we are not doing this we are simply doing what p1 dot y is equal to 0 means first of all we are initializing variable member y so this will get 0 and then p1 dot z will get value 1 and p1 dot x will get value 2 so this is the actual initialization this is called designated initialization now p2 dot x again we have created a variable p2 this is a different variable so again we have created a variable p2 and this p2 will again have three boxes why three boxes because p2 is a variable of coordinate structure coordinate so this has three part x y and z now p2 dot x p2 x will have value 20 what am i doing is that i am printing value of x y and z and i am accessing through dot operator p1 dot x what is the value of p1 x2 so we'll get answer 2 x is equal to 2 p1 dot y what is the value of p1 y 0 so we'll get 0 p1 z which is 1 will get value 1 now we are in second line we are printing value of p2 x what is the value of p2 x which is 20 we are getting 20 now you might be thinking about what will have value y and z since we have not initialized it and if we try to print it we'll get a garbage value since we are not printing if we try to print it we'll get a garbage value fine we'll get some garbage value so this was a second method of you know accessing method through designation initialization and the third method is through arrow operator by using arrow operator you can access member of structure so you have a structure named coordinate having two members x and y and in what you have created now you can see that you have created a variable p1 so you have created a variable the moment you write p1 you have created a variable p1 having two value x and y and you have initialized it with value 1 and 2 fine so you understood this now what am i doing i am 
creating a variable p2 is a pointer to a structure p1 so what am i doing is that i am creating a pointer see i am creating a pointer what is pointer what is int a a is a variable of integer type and what is int pointer p p is a variable of integer type p is also a variable but it will store the address of integer variables in a similar fashion p2 is a variable the moment you write p2 either it's pointer or whatever the p2 will get created p2 p2 is a pointer variable it will get created and p2 will hold the address of p1 so let the address of this entire memory is 100 fine so what will actually happen or suppose the address of this is 100 and this is 104 so what by doing this what will actually happen p2 is holding address of p1 so here you will have 100 and here you have 104 so here you will have 104 fine now what you are doing is that you are printing value of x you are printing value of y using p2x and p2 arrow y so p2 what is p2 100 and 100 x p2 in x what is x and y so p2 p2 arrow x so at the value of 100 what value at the address of 100 what value you are having is 1 so you will get answer as 1 you will get answer as 1 this is very important this is very important to understand fine so you will get answer as 1 and after that you are printing p2 y what is there in p2 104 so 104 104 and you are assessing 104 value and 104 value is 2 so this you will get answer 2 so this is the method by which you can access the member of what structure so there are two method one by dot operator and one by arrow operator arrow means minus sign and greater sign fine so these are two method of accessing this is the question which is generally asked in uh, various competition that what are the two operators through which you can access the uh, member of structure so by dot operator and arrow operator so at last i will say thank you so much